I apologize if this video is really loud, but <laughs> we're going to what? This whole week. You guys get good look on what happens to us. It's what? So I just try to completely drench it. There are still some wet spots, but this is what happens when you wet the wig. So let's get that up. Get my makeup out the way. <laughs> so, so right now I've just completely wet the wig. And like I said, it kind of reminds me of the wig. I ordered from Best Lace Wigs only. A little bit better because the curls are not as wavy. So we're gonna wet it up some more so we can wash it. Wet it up that way. Wet it up that way. So I do plan to sink before and afterwards, but I think I got a piece of lint or something in it. So let me get that out. I, that was my doing. But yeah, this is the hair once it's been wet up. So I try my best to wet the top and then all the way down here. A little bit of shit, I'm just using my hands for right now. So, the shampoo I'm going to be using is by The Do. I've been using these products on my natural hair. I like the fact that the products are multi-use, so you can use their mousse for blow drying or flat earning along with wash and goes. And I plan on using their mousse to keep this hair in a curl. So for right now, I'm just going to do the shampoo and moisturizer conditioner and show you guys what it look like once you rinse all that stuff out there's no product and then i'm going to actually put mousse in it and let it dry overnight so again this is a video of it just being wet so i'm going to try to apply shampoo now okay wish me luck guys i might be using too much shampoo but i just want to see what the hair looks like after it's been shampooed So I'm just running my fingers with shampoo in it. Like I said, this shampoo doesn't, it suds up, but it's not like a really strong sud, which I like. But your hair does feel clean afterwards. So I'm going to pause the video and go through and add more shampoo so I can have both my hands. So I've applied shampoo everywhere. I hope you guys can see the little suds. And the curls in this are just absolutely gorgeous. They're very nice. And so I'm just using my fingers and I'm getting some shedding. You can see the suds in my fingers. So I'm going to rinse it out now and then come back again <laughs> with a shot of all the shampoo rinsed out of it. Okay, so this is once all the shampoo is rinsed out. And I haven't put any conditioner in it. So next I'm going to put conditioner in it and rinse it out. And as you can see, I've just combed my fingers through it. So I'm going to do the same thing with the conditioner. And then rinse it out and let you guys see what that looks like once you condition it and rinse it out. So this is just freshly washed. I rinsed all the shampoo out. And I'll be back to show you what happens when I put the conditioner in. And then I'll come back to show you what it looks like once I rinse the conditioner out. Okay guys, so I have the conditioner on my hand and I'm just kind of moving it through. I made sure to put some up here at the top. And I've conditioned the rest of the hair. And as you can see, my hands can just slide through with the conditioner. Like I said, this is a looser curl hair. But I use the same products that I use on my real hair on my wig. Because my wig will take up less products. Because I don't have to wash it and put leave-in and mousse in it too often. So this is not a leave-in conditioner though. Uh, the owner of the do has come out with a leave 
and conditioner, but I don't own it yet. And the dew products are available at Target. And like I said, I like the fact that multiple uses and it's a pretty simple line to follow. You don't have to have all the products. You probably only need three or four. So this is the conditioner and I'm going to rinse it out. And this is how much hair I've got lost so far that's in my fingers. So I will save a little hairball for you guys from me washing and conditioning it and possibly applying the mousse to it. So I'm going to rinse it out and show you guys what it looks like. So I'm rinsing it out with cold water. The water runs clear or free of product, I would say. I like to go around this in a circle, around everywhere to do anything. And that condition just makes it, you can just slide it pretty much like you So this is, I believe after I've gotten all the conditioner out, the part is still there. You just have to put your finger to the part and find it again. And this is just a shot of the hair freshly washed, conditioned. And you can see what the pattern looks like when you get wet. I will probably shoot a different video where I show you if I let it dry overnight, how it dries with no product in it. And then what it would look like if I add the dew mousse to it. But for right now, this is just washing, conditioning, rinsing that out. So right now it has no product in it. We're going to see how it dries. Because we all know you're not just going to wash it with condition it and not put any leave in or mousse in it. But I know some people wonder like, what it looks like if it just dries with nothing in it. So I'm gonna let it dry with nothing in it. And then I can always re-wet it and put the mousse in it. But I just wanted to show wash condition, rinse, but it feels really, really nice. And I like the curl pattern. I could put perm rods in here, make it curly, and all kinds of stuff with this. You could blow dry it, flat on it if you want to. But this is why I picked this curl pattern to do a lot to it instead of doing a lot to my real hair. Also, she did sell this wig for the same price as a frontal, but I don't really know how to do frontals without my best friend Jasmine. So I chose to get closure because that would be easier for me to manage on my own. But yes, here it is. I'll be back with another video to show you what it looks like once it dries and then put mousse in it.